Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about simple things you can do to be happier. And I've talked about it in the past in this channel about how stressful it is to run a business, to launch a business, to grow a business. It's one of the hardest things that you're gonna do in your life. And I believe that one of the things that you need to do is take care of yourself. And that's something that I learned later on after running my business for several years is how to take care of myself. So now let's talk about some tips that I do on a daily basis that help me out with stress and that also can help you out in your daily life, in your career, in your job too. And even if you're starting a business also, it will help you out. So I think this applies to everyone. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. And the first one is exercise daily. And it can be even for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And this is something that I do every day from Monday to Sunday. And I walk at least 10 to 15 minutes. And I just go around even the neighborhood, or maybe walk around the block. We have a very close trail nearby my house. It's a trail, very nice. It goes through the woods, it goes through a river where, and I love going there. I usually go every day. Usually go to the whole year. It doesn't matter the season, even if it's winter and it's snowing, I usually go through that trail and I walk every day. So that's something that you can do. And it's very simple. It's just 10 minute walk. It helps me out because it gets me out of my office here when I'm working from home and it gets me in contact with nature. And that simple thing of getting in contact with nature will change your mindset and it will change uh, how you feel about the day. Maybe some ideas that you, can, you were stuck, they will come out for me. Uh, the biggest ideas come out when I'm doing those walks. So by all means, I would suggest that you try to do those those quick walks. It can be anything to, I'm incorporating uh, biking uh, into my life. I don't do it every day, but maybe two or three times a week. And I look longer than 10 minutes and that's also been working out great. So try to inc incorporate exercise, it's wonderful. The second one is sleeping more. I can't stress how important this is in your life. and I. And sleeping is one of the most important things that you have to do with your body and with your health. I think uh, I've heard people saying sleeping is more important than breakfast, and probably that's true. If you don't sleep well, you will probably be stressed out. You will probably be burned out faster. If you can, sleep more will help you rest and will help you uh, re recharge energy that then you can use on the next day in your career and in your day. That's basic. I I suffer from sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is really hard because it doesn't allow you to actually sleep well. So your mind is always running, it's always thinking even when you're sleeping. And when you wake up, you actually wake up like you didn't get any sleep at all. So the moment that I got my CPAP machine, which is a, a machine that helps you go, in, uh, go to sleep, that was a game changer for me because I was actually then able to rest and get some hours of sleep. And the next day I was able to wake up uh, with rested and be able to get into my job. The nights that I'm not able to get a good sleep or my apnea is not very good, those days I would feel tired and it would be really hard to create something and it's really hard to push things forward that day. So by all means, try to sleep. That would help you out a lot. Tip here, if you are able to sneak a nap sometime in the day, try to do it too. Naps, naps are really wonderful because it allows you to recharge within during the day. And I'm not saying that you need to take a one hour nap, just 10 minutes in a nap, that will help you re-energize amazingly. If you are able and you have that flexibility, do it. If you can, that's just try to sleep at night when you get home. Next one, try to spend time with friends, family, people that you know are close up. It's really good to talk with people with, about different things that is not related to work. Being able to just express your ideas, things that happen, hear other point of view, or just laugh. Try to do that. Just find a group of friends, find a group of family. That would help you out a lot. It's just a way to decompress. It's just a way to talk with different people, see, see different views, do different things. In my case, for example, we try to get together with my family every week. That's something that we use, that we have a tradition of doing in the family for a very long time. Uh, it's good because I get to see my brothers and sisters, but I also get to see my nieces and my nephews. Uh, we play with them and have a good time. So it's just a way of talking, uh, sharing, and just getting out of the routine. That would help you out also with the stress. That would help you out with having a simpler life. 
just be able to connect with other people that maybe share the same values that you do. Or maybe if they don't share it, that's if they don't share it. But because you can hear different perspectives, it's just the thing about talking and being with other people. The other one is to get out to somewhere or someplace greenish, and greenish means contact with nature. Like I said before, in my exercises, I combine those two. So I actually go to nature because I walk on a trail. But if you're able to go out also for a walk somewhere in a park or somewhere that has nature, trees, flowers, anything like that would work. There is benefits to doing that. There are benefits of being able to go with nature. In the place that I walk, that trail is close to the woods. It also have a lot of birds, somewhat animals which is wonderful to hear them. Just last week, I was riding my bike also in that trail and I was able to get really close with deer. So I found deers and they were just beside me and that was amazing. It's not very usual that we come into contact with deers. And when I saw that, it was just really great dream uh, seeing those animals in the wild. For me, that's, I like it, I love it because it's something different. There is some magical thing and some connection that you feel when you are out in the woods and out in the wild that it's totally different. So try it. I really like it. There are benefits of doing that. The next one is planning a trip. And I know that this is really hard. Not everyone can do a trip, but it doesn't have to be a trip outside of the country or it's really far. You can plan a trip even to somewhere close where you can spend maybe one day after the other, maybe two days, even a one day thing. But the thing about planning a trip it keeps your mind in focus of what needs or, or that that specific trip or that specific thing that is not related to work it's related to another thing that you're doing out of your comfort zone out of your routine that will keep your mind um, busy some people even recommend planning a trip even if you don't take it but uh, for me planning a trip is really good it's really nice because it keeps my mind going and I try to do trips that I can actually take. We try to do trips out of the country too and those ones are really good because you're planning, you're thinking what you're gonna do, I'm thinking what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna do when I get there, how am I going to relax. So those things put your mind to work. It gets you away from the daily work, from the daily routine and it helps with your health and it helps with your happiness. The other one that you can do is meditation and meditation is also a way of getting your mind off work. I used to do meditation. I'm not doing it anymore. I wanna get into it again. But when I was doing meditation, it really gets out of your mind for a few minutes. It really helps because you, you like blank out your mind and then when you go back to work, it's a completely different experience. If you can dedicate, and it doesn't have to be lost, it's just 10 to 15 minutes. The problem with my meditation was that I used to go to sleep. I used to get sleepy after doing the meditation. So I have to find a way not to get sleepy. That's the only thing with me and meditation that I have to change and I have to learn. But I want to get back into it. It's really good. I try it. And I think it really helps out. There is a lot of tools out there to do meditation. I do the Calm in my iPhone. It's really wonderful for meditation. Try it, they have a free version. The other one is practice and gratitude. And gratitude, it's, it's a thing that, uh, to be grateful about the things that you already have. There is one book from Brene Brown that talks about being happy and about how to how to be a good leader. And one of the things that she talks about in that book is that when good things happen to us, we're always afraid that something bad is going to happen because there is a gene and jan, there is a balance in life in which if you get a good thing, you might probably get a bad thing as a balance. And if you get a bad thing, you're probably gonna get a good thing really soon, which is a trick of the mind plays with us around in that area. So one of the things that she says that we can switch our mind is to be yeah, grateful and to be grateful about the good things that happens to us in life. And if we are grateful, we are able to experience happiness in that specific moment. Because we can be sure and we can be with that good thing that happened to us. And our mind changes and our happiness to our things changes. It's not an easy thing to do, to be honest, because again, your mind is going into these balanced things of good and bad things but it's something that I'm trying to practice and I try to implement in my life. It's just being grateful for those things that we have. And even though there are, might be things that you think they're small, they're not small compared maybe to other people. And if you just be grateful, even if it is small, you will feel that it's gonna be a good thing and it's gonna be a big thing just 
to be able to be in that place and to be able to have something and be able to that thing that you recently got. Final one, practice smiling. Smiling is the best way to be happy in your life. Being able to just get that smile out there even if things are tough, just try to practice more. Everyone has a great smile. It also works with your mind and it tricks your mind. Practice more that smiling. It really works. Again, thanks for staying in until the end and I hope you like it. Be sure to subscribe so you get more videos like this. Thank you.